Okay, Gladys, I want to ask about playing Atomic. Okay. It's the last hand there, and it says Atomic Cat, seven different pairs. You must acquire only one hand with 13 tiles racked. Must pick or claim your 14th tile. Can't use or throw flowers or jokers. Let's talk about that. Okay. If you were playing the atomic hand with 13 tiles in a regular game of Mahjong, you would have to pick your 14th, either pick the discard or pick it from the wall. You're not going to generally start with 14 perfect tiles. It's designed to be completely different from any other card on the hand, uh, hands on the card. You're going to be picking pairs, seven distinct pairs. They cannot be the same number. So you can't have a pair of five dots and a pair of five cracks. But you can have a pair of green dragons and you can have a pair of red dragons. You cannot have a pair of eight bands and eight dots, but you can have two norths and two easts. Now, when you're playing strictly with 13 tiles, if you are past a flower in the Charleston, you can't take that flower. And they're basically not allowed to give you a flower because you have pre-announced, I'm playing Atomic, don't give me any flowers or jokers. During the Charleston? During the Charleston. You announce. Okay, so that's a that regular four-person Mahjong. Let's talk about Siamese. So how do I play Atomic and Siamese? Okay, you now are sitting with 27 tiles or 28 tiles. And you suddenly see I have 13 or 14 individual pairs. What a great hand and it's worth extra points, which converts to extra money if you're playing with a pot. And, and I you, don't have to say that in the beginning. I can announce that anytime. No, you must do it right after the deal. Now you can exchange tiles between the two racks at that point. But once you've decided that that's going to be your atomic hand, it's going to be on your first rack closest to the center, or it's going to be on the top rack of your double rack. Which is so this higher here. one? This higher the one? The higher one, okay, right. The higher one. So you're going to put it on the first rack. Okay. Okay? So people are going to know, but my, you will know if I say I'm, I'm playing Atomic, mm -hmm. I claim it right there, and you'll know if I'm playing with the signees that it's going to go right there. Right. So and any other that's... exposures if I, that are not my other hand that's not Atomic, will go here. Correct. On the, okay, so there are no exposures in atomic because everything is pairs. Correct. And they're not necessarily consecutive. They could be any random numbers yes. and they have to be random numbers. You cannot repeat numbers for an atomic. Right. Now, what yeah, you can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven yeah, dots yeah. and they can all be, but they're all random numbers. Yes, right. Yes. So if I then, pick a, another, um, if I draw a tile and it's a joker, mm -hmm. I have to just put it on my other, on your other rack, on my other on your second rack, rack, second rack, and then, so at some point can I say, okay, I'm no longer atomic, or how does that work? Okay, that doesn't work yet. Okay. You have committed to atomic. You have, it's set in stone. So you're going to play that hand. Unfortunately, or fortunately, everybody's sitting there watching to see that you have 13 well, tiles. Well, I'm only playing Siamese, so it's just you and me. So what are we, do? yeah, just in the regular two-person Siamese. So I can see seat. that you have 13 tiles on that top rack. What happens if you're dealt seven perfect pairs? Too bad. You have to break one up. Because the rule is you have to pick it, you have to draw it, you have to claim it. For your 14th tile. Oh, I know, but wait. So you're going to have to pick amongst all of these tiles. Like, for instance, I have two one cracks, two three bams, two four dots, yada, yada. Let's see. And I'm thinking, wait a minute, what are my chances? Which one am I think is going to be an easier pick? 
well, I'm certainly not gonna throw away my soaps because I may never get a soap. There's so many soaps being used in this year's card, last year's cards, because of the 2020s. Mm -hmm. All right, well, you know, you're, you've got plenty of North, South, East, West. You might get those if nobody else is playing it, but is my chance better to get a seven or an East? Which one am I gonna break up? But you're gonna break one of those up. Why do I have to break it up? Why don't I just pull something from that hand to discard? Because you can't. You have to pick. If you're gonna put a tile into this rack, then you have to take a tile and throw it out of this rack unless you have actual mahjong. So you have to watch me. You're literally gonna watch me. I'm gonna watch you, yeah. You're gonna watch if I have, if I'm claiming that one of my, that this is atomic, one of my hands is atomic, you're gonna watch, I'm gonna pick it up and if I drop it in that first rack, mm -hmm. anything I put in that rack has to stay there. Mm -hmm. And then I also have to discard from that. Correct. So what if I what if I just, because this is the way I'm saying, I pick up a tile and I know I can use it there for my atomic hand, but I'm gonna put it on the other rack. Yeah. Because well, I'm can't. just saying, because I'm just saying, because I'm I'm not, I don't wanna show you that I've got something, you know, that's coming together there. You can. And then I'm gonna discard from there. You can. And then afterwards, I'm gonna take that tile and put it up there. You can. What? Well, what would happen if you were just playing 13 tiles in a regular game? Just a plain I don't know, I've never, I don't play Atomic in regular. I'm trying well, to learn how to play Atomic in regular. in New game. Jersey and New York, that's where they play it. <laughs> I'm not sure I understand it completely. Okay, I know. I know, it's a little bit off the beaten track, but you will see it is a fun, fun game, and especially when they think this is so easy. I have seven pairs, I was dealt seven pairs. Well, I'm sorry, but you have to break one of those up. Because, and so let me, so, oh my God. So, blah, 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 blah. That, so let's exhibit, so you have all the that challenge. in there. You have all that in there. Uh -huh. I'm just gonna say it's all in there. Mm -hmm. And you're like, all right. I'm it gonna, is in there. There it is. No, I'm just saying <laughs> on your rack, it's not exposed yet. Right, not exposed. So you're you're saying, okay, well, I just picked that that um, soap, put it in here. Mm -hmm. I am gonna have to discard something. So I'm gonna discard this seven. No, 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 you don't have to discard something. Not... I thought you said you have to discard. Well, let's say I'm sitting like this. If you, I put that soap, if you put that soap in this rack, you said I have to discard from this yeah, rack. Yeah, but you've already got 14 tiles here. This, we're sitting with 14 set tiles. I now must break something up. If I break that seven up, I could put it here, but I can never move it back. So you all, you're saying you always and only can have yeah. 13 tiles on your atomic? Yeah, that's it. You, you can, can only have 13 tiles on your atomic at any given time. At any given time. Just like you would if you were playing singles, plain old maja. That, that's what makes the Oh my God, stop, stop comparing it to regular Mahjong. I don't play that. I just want to know how to play it in Siamese. Yes. So in Siamese, when I claim, I, I'm, the only reason I would claim this is because I've got such a variety of pairs going on. Right. I'm thinking, okay, I am super close. I am going to claim, and that's, but, but is that when I would do it is when we start the game and we're, we've got our tiles all divvied out and I've got all my pairs, and I'm like, oh my God, I'm literally one away right here mm -hmm. from right there. No, 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 stop. Oh my God, I'm not there yet. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I haven't even, we haven't even started playing yet. Right. East hasn't thrown. Okay. So I put all my pairs up here, mm -hmm. and I say, Gladys, I'm, I'm gonna claim a tonic mm -hmm. on one of my hands. Mm -hmm. Okay. So nothing's up, nothing's exposed. Mm -hmm. So, you're watching, you're like, okay, that's the, that's the hand rack that's going to be exposed. You only have 13 tiles. I only have 13 tiles on there now, so don't even think about adding anything unless it's for Mahjong. Correct. So, if I do end up picking my tile. How about just a tile? I'm sorry, picking a tile and I put it there because it actually is my Mahjong. Mm -hmm. So it is my Mahjong in Siamese. Mm -hmm. It is my Mahjong. I still have to discard from that? No, I don't discard from the other one at this point. So can, do I have to say it's a Mahjong? Yes, and you have so a I choice can't now. Okay, so I have to say I got Mahjong on my on my Atomic. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And you will show it. And then, I, but what's my choice? Not to show it. And why wouldn't I, how? Because you, you want to wait for two Mahjongs. So then you're, but, but do I have to tell you is what I'm saying? Yes. I have to tell you, McGladys, I have I have, a, I have Mahjong on my, on my atomic. 
I have okay. atomic mahjong on my one. Yeah. So now, how do you show that to your opponent? You turn them upside down like this, and you don't show them what the tiles are. That's your atomic, and now you can play the other hand any way you want. So now I discard from, from here. this rack now. Right. Because you have 28, you want to get down to So 27. now my, that's all upside down, and, now, upside and down. that's how I'm going to get credit then right. for two, if for you double, wait if I, seconds. So if you mahjong before that, though, if you double mahjong before that, if you win by double mahjong, do I get, I don't get credit for this, for my atomic? Because if I, I was, yeah. So you say, well, wait a minute. Sometime before that, you're getting off a close. The wall is disappearing. I think I'll I'll show my mahjong. Right, but what if I don't? I'm saying if you I don't get my no mother. Credit. When I play with my mother, she suddenly throws up a double mahjong. I'm like, huh? Like how? And I'm not prepared because I'm holding on to my one mahjong because I want to get more credit. You more need points. to read your mother better. Yes, yes, yes. So, it but what, you're saying, like is, but what you're saying is, I wouldn't get credit though if she did do that. If I if I left it like this and she suddenly throws up her double mahjong, I would not get credit as long as these are upside down. Where that is not a mahjong. That's right. So I have to read the how many tiles are left, everything, that, and I say, all right, it's my turn. I can see you're getting antsy over there. I'm gonna flip over my, I'm gonna get at least credit for my atomic, and then that's when, right. that's when I get credit for that. Right. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh, I think I understand It's that. exciting, it isn't it? It's exciting. But it's so, I and they do so like it. It's so, so, I bet it would be really hard. Number one, you must declare atomic. Okay. Right away. Okay. Number two, you only have 13 tiles on that rack nearest the center at all times. At all times, right. You cannot exchange tiles once you've declared it between the racks. Oh my gosh, right. If you claim a tile for atomic, you must expose it. Now, that's changed. What? How do yes. you expose a pair? We just did it. Oh, expose it upside right. down. That's the difference. It's either upside down. It's the whole thing. Oh. Remember, you can't just claim. You just can only claim. Oh, read that sentence again. If you okay. claim a tile. If you claim a tile for atomic, you must expose it. Right. You're sp but, but, but so, so add more to that. If you claim a tile for atomic mahjong. Is that what you're saying? Atomic Maja. The only time okay. you can claim a tile for that hand. Okay, right. You can claim a tile for the other hand. So, but, but to clarify, like for me, because I'm still trying to learn this. So if you claim a tile for Atomic Mahjong, you have to, you can you can leave it upside down. Correct. Or if it's close to the if it's close to the end, you can flip it up. Flip it up. And that's when either way, either way, you can then now begin to to discard from your other rack. Other hand, right. Okay, go ahead, what's next? You can always place another tile into that other rack and discard from that other rack, but if you're picking for that atomic, it's only, and, and if you have 13 unrelated tiles up there, maybe that's not the smartest decision to play atomic at this point. You right. want at least five pairs to get you started. All right, if you already have your atomic exposed, you can now use flowers and jokers, which you weren't allowed to pick and throw before. You could put them in your other hand, but you could not put them in your atomic hand. And if you have another mahjong exposed, not your atomic, this is a kicker, and you pick a flower or a joker, you must go off atomic. Yes, because you already have one mahjong, so you're now you're down to only your atomic That's hand. Right. That's right. That's so right. So you're like you pick it, and you're like. Oh, suck. Oh, and then you go, and then you're, then you have your flower. Right. And you're like, and then you have to actually say, I'm not atomic. Yeah, anymore. off atomic. Off atomic. Off atomic loud. Okay. In red letters well, coming you out of your mouth. I think you can hear me. I'm only talking about signing you. Okay, so off atomic. If but I, it's an exciting that's hand. That's so fun. Yeah, it I is. mean, that takes a lot of courage, I think. So that's what I was going to ask you. So it's really at some point and at any point. I can actually say I'm no longer atomic because if I, if I'm just if I've got my one mahjong sitting here and it's super close, and I draw a You're joker, playing there for a the joker whole that I don't need, or you know, uh -huh. then I have to say I'm no longer atomic. Uh -huh. Cool. 
I can understand it. But I'm you're stuck to... with it. Remember, you're stuck with it for in 75% of the cases, you're stuck with that hand. You can't oh. just arbitrarily say, I'm picking all these jokers, I think I'm gonna change that hand. No. No, right, because you can't switch rocks. Right. Because mm -hmm. once you put that joker on that rock, you're no longer atomic. Right. <laughs> So you make sure whatever you pick, you put it on your other rack. Right, right. Unless it's going to give you mahjong. Right. Atomic you just, mahjong. Yeah. You just, and you got to watch. I mean, that's exhausting. I'm mean, watching you. If you just think, I have to watch your I'm watching my own stuff. Well, not everybody wants to play that hand, but you know. It sounds like a lot of fun, though. I mean, I hear a lot of questions about it. Like on the Siamese Mahjong Guild, people will ask about it. I know. People are super curious about it. When I put it on the original card, which was a 22 card, I said, believe me, I am never going to do this again unless you write to me or call me and tell me you love it. Well, they did. Oh, that's so great. I said, okay, we'll do it. We'll make it a little more clear so everyone understands it. And then it appears again on the 23 card. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to give it a try. Yeah, you do. Now that I understand yeah. it, I will. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. What else do you have to tell me? Okay. So one more thing. I just want to clarify one sure. thing. Okay. So anytime I've claimed a ton of and one of my racks. I can never ever do tile exchanges between my racks ever, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Now, if I do pick up a tile and I put it in my atomic rack and I actually try to discard, if I do discard from my non-atomic rack, you can call my atomic hand Dead? Yes, and I would call your time again. Okay, because you'd be watching that I took it from there because then you would know I, I suddenly have 14 tiles up here mm -hmm. and then I didn't call it as a mahjong. Mm -hmm. So you would call that one dead. Right. And and I would still be able to discard. That discard would remain, right? Correct. Right. And then this would be dead and then, then it would just continue. And the game continues continue. until mm -hmm. the next person either gets two mahjongs or all the tiles are gone. Okay, perfect. I just wanted to clarify that. And remember, if you have one dead atomic hand and you come and you claim a second mahjong, I still continue because nobody has actually put up two good mahjongs. Right. I would still continue. You just keep again. getting the tiles and every yeah. tile until you... every tile. <laughs> Gotta make two mahjongs of that, right? You would think. <laughs>